My name's Chris. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer and Administrator with At Home Care, Home Health Care, and we rate Allura Plus 3 out of 5. Prior to using Allura Plus, we were using a software called Access, and uh, some of the issues that we had were just the software not being as up to date, not having as much flexibility for our staff in the field. And so when we switched to Allura Plus, that was our biggest goal was to be more up to date, more efficient with the software, make sure that our, our team was able to accomplish their visits, their visit notes, all the things they needed to do in the field, do it in an efficient way. And then also for us to be able to plug in on the backside for our billing to make sure that billing was correct. Uh, for the Medicare process, and that's the the really the, the steps forward that Allura gave us, as opposed to the previous software that we used. Some additional reasons that we chose Allura Plus uh, was the their app uh, is really up to date. Uh, it allowed us to uh, allow our staff to be able to use their uh, their personal products as far as their their own iPads, their own uh, smartphones as well as the, the laptops that we provided. So it gave them the options to be able to be really uh, 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 effective in the field as far as uh, not having to have limitations for technology. And so that was a big plus for us was their app. Uh, and then also, again, the, uh, the, the data uh, integration and allowing us to be able to uh, integrate the data on a successful uh, pattern when it came to uh, uh, our back-end billing. That's huge. I've, I've mentioned it previously, but it, it allows us to be able to uh, get our billing done correctly. So a huge piece for us. The process on getting started with Allura was a, a fairly easy process as far as the, the training goes and the updates uh, going over with our staff. We could have used maybe a little bit more in-depth training, and that's probably on the business to reach out to Allura and, and let them know the kind of staff training that you need. Make sure that that's part of your plan when you sign up uh, for Allura. The only issue we had with onboarding was we did have a little bit of uh, issues making sure that uh, our, our DDE software worked correctly as far as the, uh, the data talking. Uh, that's pretty common in, in this business to have those kinds of issues, uh, making sure when you switch particularly from one uh, software to another but uh, we were able to work through those uh, eventually and get those worked out with the team. Some advice when choosing uh, Allura is always review uh, what you need the software to do and what promises are made to you by the company. Make sure that those match up. Uh, ask lots of questions. Don't be afraid to really dig in and make sure that you understand what the company is providing and, and make sure that your expectations are in line. Make sure that you what you're expecting is what actually happens. The other thing is uh, make sure that you uh, have good contacts uh, for customer service. We've had a few issues with customer service uh, with Allura uh, and, and follow-up, uh, but just make sure you have the, the, the direct contacts that you need. Establish, the, establish those relationships on the front end. It'll make things go a lot easier and a lot smoother to make sure you have those kinds of contacts. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is, is manage your expectations. Make sure that, that you understand what you're getting, you understand the functionality, and don't be afraid to stop the process and say, I don't understand this, I have questions, and make sure that you, and then also your team. One of the things we do with when we launch any software in our company is we always bring in uh, probably our, our user that struggles the most, and we try to have them work on the system as well because we want to make sure that, that that they understand it from their perspective. It's no reflection on them personally. It's just that they may struggle sometimes with technology a little bit, uh, and we want to make sure they understand it. So I would recommend having, having kind of a, a little mini focus group as well when you roll out the software.